wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Philip Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within, and we are Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube, alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillam. In the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks, and help you become a better trader. And today we'll unveil what's hot and what's not for you, our viewers. But before we dive in to this week's stocks, I am joined today by Dale Gillam. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Phil. It was, yeah, it was a big week last week without you, but we managed to get through there and mm. I love it. But yeah. What a market at the moment. It's great. And I'm, every day I'm getting emails and um, uh, what do you call it? Google reviews from our students and yes. graduates telling us, like, telling us like, wow, how well they're doing it. So if you haven't seen our Google reviews, go and check them out. I mean, We've been teaching traders for nearly 30 years, and I think we know what we're doing a little bit. <laughs> oh, you'd hope so. But I mean, as you said, it's so exciting, our market. Obviously, September is supposed to be the um, most bearish month for mm. the year on our market, but bucking that really, um, you know, really well at the moment. And as you said, you know, the market only gives you a handful of good opportunities throughout the year to get involved. And Correct. If you can't... Uh, this is one of them. That's right. And if you can capture those, I mean, it, it far... Uh, outweighs what you can achieve in the market versus just blindly getting in here well, and there. it shows your patience. And the thing is, is you know, we've, we've often talked about in our live show and, and other things, a lot of people chase the market and we see that they do that a lot. They get onto the different forums or whatever else or they watch videos and they chase the market mm. rather than lead it. Well, we've been saying to people over the last few months, just be careful, wait, the market will go bullish and it'll be a great time. And, and now's the time to really, really learn to get in, to be able to take advantage of it. And now's the time. It's getting to that point where well, now it's getting starting to be too late to learn. Yeah. You know, and the, what will happen is the people who chase the market will still chase it. But our students are, can I say, raping and pillaging. It will be, yeah. if I'm allowed to say yeah, that. Yeah, I think you yeah. are. And they will be. They, they will be absolutely slam dunking it over the next six months and then they'll know when to get out and then back in again. And that's why we're getting so many great testimonials at the moment. We have bucket loads coming in on Google and Facebook and everything else. So I just thank you for those that are sending them in, which is which we really do appreciate it. But I think we better get back into what we're doing. All right, exactly. So let's get straight into it now on your screen. Right now is the watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks. And you'll see uh, from up to down on the list, obviously, Dale Materials was the best performing sector this week. And oh, he's in, you know, look at all these materials uh, stocks coming through, um, finally giving some gains. But as we always say, obviously, a week isn't, isn't a, a, a trend, right? Well, it doesn't make you, I mean, a week you can, yeah, it's just short-term volatility. And so mm. that's what we've seen last week in, in materials. I mean, it was a great sector last week, but is it going to continue on? That's the important thing. That's right. If it's going to continue to move, then there's some great moves, but you know, it means up 25%. And most of these stocks out the front, I would be investing in right now because they could be in suckers rally. See, here's Min, it was falling heavily, deep yellow, falling. Pilbara, falling. Tabcorp, falling. The grey mining, not so bad, but still falling. Capricorn, that one's looking good. So we have to get right down to there before one of them looks like it's really, really good. Boss Energy falling, Liontown falling, West Africa mm, not doing too good, Paladin falling, Nickel Industries falling. So we're seeing this huge, but to me, it's we have to be careful about not just jump on these bandwagons mm. because we go, wow, this has gone up 25%. Let's jump in on Min because we'll make 25% next week. It may not happen next week. And I'm not saying any of these stocks are going to continue to fall away and they're not going to go up and prove they're in longer to medium to longer term bullish uh, market. But the point is there's no confirmation of that yet. And this is where so many people get, they jump in too early, they get stuck in suckers rallies only to see it move over. And if I just quickly bring up a chart of min and we'll make that a weekly chart, you can see here there's rallies through here only to fall away. There's rallies up here, fall away, move up, fall away. And we see all this rallies, rally, 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 
all falling away after it. So when is the point mm. that it's going to go into this sort of side when we're going to be more bullish? Could be now, but it may be six months away. It could be 12 months away. We don't know. But as you say, it's that confirmation, which is always the importance that we wait for. Now, it's going to the other side of the list, the worst performance for the week. Obviously, we've had steadfast up there. But really what's interesting to me and exciting, we spoke about this off air a little, is if you go down the list, apart from the top three or four, which is obviously uh, 360 there, and you've got um, you know uh, Steadfast, John Ling, Star, the rest, you're coming into that 4 3% mm. type of move. And you know for a stock, 3 4%, 2% is not anything to, um, nah, it's, it's just general weekly volatility, isn't it? Mm. It's, yeah. It really is. I mean, that's pretty normal for a material stock, but some of those stocks, it, it doesn't really bother me, 2 3 4% on those sorts of stocks. But that looks pretty good for us, I think. you know, I mean, you know, obviously, Life360, which is the chart there, it's been so bullish. So an 8%, nearly 9% fall over the week is not so, mm. not so big. I don't really care about that one. It's fine. But again, it's about making sure you're trading bullish stocks, not trying to pick the bottom. And that's what I find a lot of traders do. One of the biggest mistakes I see traders do is they try and bottom pick and try and get the lowest price because they don't want to see a stock rise up because they feel they've missed out on that profit. And I will miss that profit every single day because it's the high risk profit and you're playing with fire there. And you know what happens when you get playing with fire? You tend to get burnt. I'd rather see it unfold a little bit and t- trade a safer spot. And that's getting a confluence of rules and tools together to do it. But I think we do need to move on because you've got an awesome hot stock tip today. We do. All right. So what's hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Arena REIT stock ticker code ARF. Now on your screen is the monthly chart on the left, weekly chart on the right. Now, I mean, you know, retail, uh, real estate, sorry, being the second best performing sector this week. But to me, you know, going through this um, market uh, hot stock report that we do every week, I have been seeing a theme lately, and it's these real estate stocks, these REITs, yeah. really starting to gain traction and get going. Um, Charter Hall was my one last week, or CIQ, Centuria, one of the two. If you haven't seen it, go back and have a look. But the point is, these REITs are really starting to show signs from a technical perspective that they are going to move. And obviously this one here, if we just start off on the monthly chart, you can see it's coming out of a nice fall, about 39 odd percent, which if we measure it to anything it's done in the past is you know the second largest fall. So a very, very healthy pullback. In doing so, if you look at the, the greater picture, that to me looks like a longer term pullback within trend, because obviously since yeah. 2020, it's been very bullish up to 2022. And we're getting that unfolding that we do see technically with stocks is they, you know, rise, mm. they fall, they accumulate, and it's going through those cycles. I mean, you saw a really nice period of accumulation through here, only to see it run on up. And to me, it's accumulated around the $3, $3.94 level. This was an area of concern, this monthly downtrend line, which, um, you know, when we see stocks break through these kinds of things, they do give us that early indication of momentum changing and being we're on the monthly chart, that's a long-term momentum change early signal. And we're seeing higher bases, a higher low through here, a second higher low. And what I really like is you can see, as we're rising on up, we're not doing anything too erratic. It's mm. quite steady, you know, quite uniform. And as you can measure it through this previous period, quite uniform. And then somewhere through May 2021, you see the bars get longer it and you see that real up. expansion. Now, are we going to see the start of that? Obviously, we're only, what, two weeks into September and this bar is looking very, very strong. So if we see a nice expansion through September, I don't really see from a long-term perspective any real resistance back up until these $4.80 levels. So, you know, in the medium term, some very good opportunity. And I think, you know, if we can get to 480 really quickly, then obviously that begs the question, the all-time highs next. Oh, look, I totally agree with it. And to me, this one is a better trade than, you know, getting in on some of those things like Min and those other ones. Mm. And this is really... And to me, the, the operative words are safe and consistent. And this, this thing will really, will really do that. And this is the interesting thing is a lot of traders that I meet don't like the word safe and consistent, <laughs> but that's how you make all your money. They, they try and get your, your mins or, or your paladins that have gone up 20%. And then they think, well, it did that last week, so it might do that next week. But you can't get last week's return. You can't get last month's return. You can't get last year's return. You can only get tomorrow's return. And so by taking low risk and getting consistency, you make shed loads more money. And my 30 years, nearly 30 years of teaching people has proven that time and time and time again is don't necessarily go for stocks that blow the lights out, 
go for stocks like this that are really steady, consistent, uh, and you'll blow your portfolio lights out, not necessarily on one stock. Uh, and to me, much better trade. I love it at the moment. Anything else you want to say on it all? Oh, no, that, that is it for that one. Just really keep an eye out above that $4.15 level. Um, and, you know, now would be a time to stick it on your watch list and look for those, as Dale said, getting those setups right, doing your back testing, really honing in on how you're going to transact on this stock to really, you know, as he said, explode that portfolio. Now, moving on to a stock that should make you proceed with caution, Perseus Mining Limited stock ticker code PRU. Now on your screen is the monthly chart on the left and the weekly chart on the right. And this one is, Dale, if I can say, a bullish caution. Mm. And I just want to zoom zoom out Most this. of our cautions are bullish cautions. <laughs> <I think>. Lately, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And it speaks to the way the market's going. But um, anyway, this one here, why it is a bullish caution, obviously, again, speaking to these phases of the market, it, to me, it really blows my mind how... When you do look at a chart, especially long term, you can really read the language of the story and see where a stock is in its cycle. I mean, you know, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work it out, but you see nice expansion, distribution, falling all the way down. Look how obvious this period of accumulation is. At all time lows, really strong accumulation. And naturally, what is going to happen after an accumulation is the stock's going to break out into trend. Expansionary phase, yeah. It's very simple, right? Mm. And what's really interesting about this one right now to me is I've marked these horizontal levels through here. And why I've marked them is what's common for stocks, even uh, as they trend, it's generally the, the ebbs and flows of the market, the way it uh, moves is once it breaks through to new levels, it finds its feet given it is new and oftentimes comes back to settle through. And that's why you get those higher lows, higher highs uh, formation. Mm. We've seen that all throughout this particular trend here. We've seen that it rise up, pull back, rise up, break through to new highs, pull back, break through, pull back, break through, pull back. Now, what's interesting to me is on this recent break, which happened around June 2024, we've had three months. And if I zoom into these particular bars, look how strong the close is. It's closed well back above here. Second opportunity, close back above the previous high. Third opportunity, still closing above the high. We're not mm -hmm. seeing that pullback. So right now, to me, this speaks strength. And if we can hold these levels and start breaking on high, I think a resumption of the trend is the likely move moving forward. The only reason I do see caution is because we are moving in or approaching, because that's the thing with trading. It's obviously, it's yeah. one thing riding the trend, but mm. then looking to the left-hand side of the trend is gonna give you that indication is, where's that next speed hump? Yes. Where do I need to be concerned and how much profit potential is it in me transacting at these particular levels or buying at these levels? Now, mm. to me, we're coming into a level through here, obviously that was previous um, resistance and a distribution. So. Right now, it's a tale of if this move is strong, which it does look like so, as we come into these levels, how's the stock gonna react? So really, it's about strategy right now. Clearly, you know it's in trend, but what strategy are you go going to implore with your trading? Are you gonna wait for it to break through previous resistance levels and then transact on the other side of $3.30? Or are you gonna be more um, risky or bullish and try and get in at these levels and then have certain place to protect your position once it starts to mm. get to these levels where it's going to get a bit uh, hairy potentially. Uh, mate, I think if, if we find some support in here and it starts to move back up again, I think we're just going to get a much more vertical rise like we saw through here. It'll mm. be an exhaustion of this whole big long trend. Some really good money to be made, but it's also the high risk money to be made. So if you don't have good entry and exit rules, stay out of it. That's why the caution. But to me, if you're a good trader and you can get in, you'll get a really quick buck out of this one, I think, over a period. It could be 30, 40, 50%, um, you know, in terms of how far it can go. Because, I mean, obviously, the all-time high is around $4. We're currently sitting around $2.50. So there's some nice move through there, but it will be fast. So you have to be, in, in my book, that yes. will be fast. That's what I'm seeing at the moment, but I love it. But I can understand definitely why it's a bullish caution. All right. So lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Spark New Zealand Limited stock ticker code SPK. So let's get into the charts right now on your screen is the monthly on the left, weekly on the right. Let's just go to the monthly here and be quick on this one, Dale, because it's that looks sick. very evident what's happening. And why I've marked these rectangle boxes, it's um, really resembling the period back in you know 1992 that the stock was in really strong trend, pretty similar time frame, albeit a little bit less, mm -hmm. right? But um, nice trend, broken through the long-term trend line. And then we saw this period where the volatility, volatility, sorry, really started accelerating away through this down move. Now we're seeing that again, right? So 
Right now, we've, we've spoken so much about talking, trading on confirmation, trying to buy dips, obviously not a great idea, particularly mm -hmm. throughout this period in July 2024. So right now, as a trader, the question is for this one, mark your levels, where do you think it's gonna stop falling? What rules are you gonna have in place in terms of confirming that it's gonna stop okay. falling? And then it's an opportunity to start looking at and buying. So, I mean, to that point, if I mark up a level through here. My guess around 250-ish. Potentially, if we, where was 250? Let's mark that up, seeing as what you're thinking. Yep, I can see that too. Any other levels you think? Well, it could always go all the way back to a dollar. <laughs> but, you know, at the moment, anything's possible. But I think if it doesn't find support around that two dollars fifty-ish level, then we're definitely heading down to where you've got there. But you know, dollar seventy-five. Mm. But you know, to me, right now, this is a shorting stock. It's not a long stock. Yeah. Um, stay away from it. I understand why you've said that one. All right, brilliant. Thanks for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Remember to tune in to the live Australian stock market show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday night. Now to find us, just type Wealth Within Live in the YouTube search. And remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. The number is 03 9290 Or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now if you want a copy of Dale's First book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com.au. And I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And thank you, Dale, for your excellent comments. Well, my pleasure, Phil, and well done for today. It's good after you went so rusty after having some time <laughs> off anyway. But I do look forward to chatting with everyone tomorrow night on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube. Well, thank you very much again, Dale. And thank you to everyone for watching for now. Goodbye, good luck, and good trading.